Nearly 80 years ago, the United States stormed the beaches of Normandy on D-Day during World War II. One of the planes that led that mission is now here in Terre Haute, but it's only here for a few days. News 10's Blake Dahlier explains the plane's significance and how you can check it out. This was one of the lead planes on D-Day during World War II. It flew over the beaches in Normandy, France, and now you can take a flight in this plane and be an eye in the sky without leaving the Wabash Valley. From now until Thursday, when you walk out by the runway of the Terre Haute Regional Airport, you'll see these historic World War II planes. Mitch Mitchell is the safety officer of the Commemorative Air Force. He took me up in a plane for a flight around Terre Haute. He says it's important to appreciate the history of planes like these. It's very emotional to, uh, to fly in this airplane. Like I say, to sit there and think about what these, what these young kids went through. Mitchell says this plane and the soldiers that flew it went through a lot of scary moments during D-Day. I just think of those young kids, you know, 18, 19 years old. Uh, they're, uh, you know, they're going to jump out of this airplane. It's dark. They're being bounced around, they're being shot at. He says the stakes of D-Day and this flight were about as high as they could be. The that's all brother phrase on the nose of the plane was symbolic to send a message to Adolf Hitler. To realize the sacrifice uh, and what must have been going through their mind uh, as, they, uh, as they were jumping out of this airplane and riding all the way to France for two hours thinking about what was going to happen. Ultimately, Mitchell says the mission was successful and less than a year later, the war was over. And this was, this was the, very, the beginning of the end, so to speak, as Winston Churchill, I think, said. Mitchell says he hopes you and your family get a chance to take this flight for yourself. Reporting in Terre Haute, Blake Dollier, News 10. Now you can take a tour of the planes through Thursday. Tour times are from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m.